illustrious history. You can forget about Wembley, you can forget about promotions, and you can forget about life in the top flight. This weekend, Swansea City find out whether their fight for Football League survival is a winning one. It's one of the most important games in the history of Swansea City Football Club, and that's without a shadow of doubt. And uh, it's going to be a, a fanta fantastic atmosphere. Um, Hull will come here, I know Peter Taylor particularly well. They'll be professional, They'll, they won't want to come here and just lie down and let us have the points, far from it. I've always said that, um, that it's a great job if it wasn't for Saturdays um, and that it's going to be harder still because some of the things are out of my control. If we just needed to win on Saturday I'd be very relaxed and um, I'm sure we're going to go out about our business and win the game. Yes, the tensest of times for managers, players and fans. We've got Cardiff and Wrexham coming up for you, but we start here at the best. The players are on their way out. The Swans know exactly what they need to do. A win will guarantee survival. Anything other than that, and they're dependent on Exeter's result. So let's go across and join our match commentator, Bob Simmons. Yes, after all the dress rehearsals, this is the real thing. Swansea manager Brian Flynn has named the team that won at Rochdale last Saturday, so skipper Jason Smith has to make do with a spot on the bench as he recovers from a hamstring injury. This day completes a remarkable return to the cup for Jonathan Coates. Released last season, he plays his first game back at the Vetch after his deadline day signing. Leon Britton plays his last game before returning to West Ham, looking for a first ever goal for the Swans. This week he was named the PFA Fans Third Division Player of the Year. Hull were beaten by Rochdale in midweek and Peter Taylor has made two changes with the return of Sean Smith for Carl Reagan and Martin Reeves on loan from Leicester who comes in for another lone player, John Walters from Bolton. And today's referee Scott Matheson from Stockport. So after 83 years in the Football League, Swansea's future depending on the next 83 minutes plus 10 or so. Really big crowd here today, their biggest of the season, 9,600 home fans packed into this veg field. Bigger than the attendance for Exeter a few weeks ago. Nugent, possible target for Hull City. Bit of bad luck there too for Jonathan Coates. Nugent, big nuisance value, the big fella. Getting in the header, some sloppy play in defence by Joseph. Lucky to get away with it. Jenkins again towards John Rose. Fouled. Referee gives a free kick against Dean Keats. Martinez quickly taken. Beautiful thinking by the skipper. Coates has a chance. Into the box. Against the posts. Oh dear, how unlucky Swansea. Now ah, that really, really would have been a dream start for James Thomas. Superb football by Swansea here. And Coates' cross was a really good one to the near post. Thomas did all he could, couldn't have done much more. A chance for Britain to run. Tenacious little player. Such a skillful man with such quick feet. Penalty is it. Such a tricky little player. And the tackle was a bad one, a silly one indeed by Steve Melton, the midfield man. Scott Patterson checks everything's OK. James Thomas with the penalty. No mistake. Fourth goal in the last six games for the big Swansea number nine. His 13th of the season. They don't come much more valuable than that. He scored nine goals in his first 14 and then metaphorically went to sleep, but he really has now come back to life. Terrific accuracy, no chance for Alan Pettis in the goal. Swansea won, Hull City nil. Martinez beaten to it, Burgess with a little flick, Elliot goes through on it. Jenkins in trouble, Elliot with a chance to equalise. Hull City immediately back in the game then. As soon as questions were asked of the Swansea defence, they were found wanting made by Burgess's flick Jenkins trying to shepherd it away ran into trouble though and Elliott took his goal well the Northern Ireland international top league goal scorer of the season club's record signing is 12th of the term it's 1-1
Agent putting himself about well. Losing out at that time, though. Again, it breaks for Burgess. Again, poor defending by Swansea. And it's going to cost them dear. Martin Reeves. Brought into the side at the last minute today by Peter Taylor. With another dreadful defensive error. Costing Swansea dear. And having taken the lead, they're now a goal down. Very much a nothing ball there. Michael Howard making a dreadful mistake. Reeves, coolness itself. Swansea City 1, Hull City 2. Well, just no reason whatsoever for that. Poor Michael Howard must wish the ground would swallow him up. Thomas can switch it left to Coates. No options further on that side. Has to come this way again. The soup to John Rose. It's all a bit narrow in there for the moment. Coates, a little flick forward, great chance. James Thomas, so close to adding a second. Once again, nice build-up play by Swansea here. Need to one-touch stuff. Martinez's ball didn't look a particularly good one. The header from Coates was, though. Thomas couldn't quite control it and get it on target. Smith, on the line. Elliott, foul, the referee decides by O'Leary. Free kick in a dangerous position then for Hull City. That's a well-driven one too. Scramble. Corner kick. Almost a third there for Hull City. And that might well have finished Swansea off. Driven free kick with tremendous power there by Smith. Could have gone absolutely anywhere. Good save in the end by the keeper. Martinez. Has a little look up. Jenkins forward. That's down towards Thomas. The referee's decision. Here's the penalty for handball. Justin Whittle cannot believe it, but the break has come Swansea's way. Thomas in with a challenge here. Now, was that a deliberate handball? The referee said it was. That is a very, very doubtful decision indeed. But Swansea won't matter one iota. James Thomas has brought them level to all with his second penalty of the half. And suddenly, before half-time, Swansea and their fans again have hope. Superbly taken penalty again by Swansea's top scorer. Pettis went completely the wrong way. We're into stoppage time at the end of the first half. Swansea 2, Hull 2. John Rose, it's all very tight in there. Assistant referee points out that, in fact, that should be a free kick to Swansea. Martinez. Waits to deliver this important ball towards the far post. Scramble is there! Lenny John Rose. Swansea City dramatically have taken a 3-2 lead. Free kick by Martinez was always going to create problems. Bobbled around the box there. John Rose just with a touch with the left foot. The big man has proved to be such a good signing by Brian Flynn. That the 50th of his league career. And who'll say that he's ever scored a more important one? Elliot, a little flick down the line. And it's Chris O'Leary. Towards Thomas. Looking for the flick on to Coates. Well, looking to play rather too much football. James Thomas has a chance for a hat-trick. Will that be the goal that decides Swansea City's Football League future? James Thomas, a Swansea Jack, is the hero of the day. Joined the club from Blackburn this season. Came home and has 